Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, the Toy Car Collector. That's right, toycarcollector.com. And today I've got something really great to show you. If you are a Hot Wheels collector, you need to go to hotwheelscollectors.com, hotwheelscollectors.com. And if you've got the money, join redlinecollectors.com because if you're a member of Redline Collectors, you get to buy a special car every month. You get to keep up on all the latest news. And at the end of the year, you can buy one of these. What is this you say? This is a 2019 series box. You know all those cars that you go to the store? You get to the store, there's a thousand cars there. There might be no cars there, but they're all terrible. Well, this box includes every terrible car made during the year, and it also includes all of those cars that you can't get because everybody comes in and takes them all. That's right. Every one of these series, what they've made is 30 different series. The series have anywhere from five to 10 cars in them. And only, you know, a couple are good in each series, the ones that you really want. But if you get this box, you get them all. Every single car that was made basically for the ones that sell for a dollar, plus the regular treasure hunts, all 15, plus super treasure hunts, all 15, plus you get the bonus cars, six mail-in cars that you can't get because you got to buy 20 cars, send it in, you never get around to it. You're like me, you start to do it, you don't do it. You get all of those cars in this box, plus you get exclusive recolors, which are even better than the regular cars. And you get all the Walmart cars, you get the, you get the Zamax, they're so exciting. And I'm going to show you every single one of the 30 series, plus the Target Red series, plus the six mail-in bonus cars, super treasure hunts, regular treasure hunts, they all come in this box, four, over 450 cars for about 600 bucks, and it's a lot of fun. In this box, you'll find six boxes like this. Each one of these boxes lists all the cars in the box, starting with the number one through, there's like, you know, 400, whatever. You get six of those, and inside that box, you get six of these, and this is where, these are the sleeves where all the cars are. And each one of these sleeves have all the names on it as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna, I've popped open all of these boxes. I've popped open all of the cars. Everything's out. And I'm going to show you in three videos every single car that came in this box. Let's get started right now. All right, Hot Wheels fans, let's get started with the number one series out of the 30 series. That's right, in 2019, they made 30 different series of Hot Wheels. You can collect them this way, one to 10, right on the card with the series there. This one, Hot Wheels Art Cars. Now, one of the beautiful things about the Hot Wheels, or about the end of the year Hot Wheels 2019 factory set is that you get not only the cars that you might have easily found on the uh, on the peg, but you'll also get some al alternate cars like this beautiful, beautiful Zamac Hot Wheels art car of the 56 Ford with the uh, unpainted, what do they do? They uh, basically unpainted metal with a little clear coat on there. Got the tampo on there. Look how beautiful these things are. Fantastic. I've never even seen this in a store. So I don't know where they were sold. Was it a special? I don't know. Anyway, it's so beautiful. And that's why I get the year-end set for like 600 bucks because I get every single car that came off the peg, including the uh, variation, the variation. I love this car. This is so beautiful. Just the colors just pop. So that's number one of the art car series. Number two of the art car series is the Fast Fish, the Fast Fish. This is one of the fantasy cars, but look how beautiful the tampos are on there. Really fantastic. They've done some nice things with every single car in this series. That's number two. Number three is the Baja Holler, Baja Holler. I've never seen this color in the store. It's got red wheels on the back and black wheels on the front. And they reverse the color of the trim. Really pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Number four is the Riviera. The Riviera. Now, the Riviera has the green one. I've seen this in the store, but I have not seen this black one in the store. And that one is pretty, pretty cool. So, I think that's one of the cars I'm going to have to open. I, I never know exactly what to do with these. Uh, this whole package of cars. You know, I want to recoup some of the money I spent, so I'll probably sell some treasure hunts and whatnot. But there's so many cars that I want to add to my collection, so... Look at this. This is, uh, what do they call this? This is a donk. They call these a donk where they put them way up in the car. If you go on, uh, of course you're on YouTube, but if you look on YouTube for these type of cars, you can see real ones. And they are pretty cool. People are really into that, especially down in the South. Hot Wheel Art Car, number five, the old 442. Number six, 
The Chevy Silverado, this is a super popular truck. Everybody loves the Silverado truck, and this one is really neat with the graphics on the side. Number seven in the series, Hot Wheels Art Car, 67 Ford Mustang. Looks like a toy, doesn't it? Why comma? What is that? Why comma? I don't even know what what they were saying on the art cars this year. Hmm, why comma? I don't know. What is it? This one's pretty cool. Number eight is the mock speeder, but look at that beautiful design on there. I'm not real, not a big fan of this particular model, but it's got a neat design. Fantastic. Check it out. That is cool. It's got an E on it, doesn't it? Hmm, I wonder what it's spelling this year. Number nine in the series is a Camaro, and this one is a regular treasure hunt. So this one would have been hard to find. I think I might have found one of these. Seems like I have one. Maybe it come in a set or something, but this is a really nice car. Of course, I'm going to have to open this one, put it in the collection of the Camaros. And in the number 10 in the art car series, the... Nova, Nova wagon. You got the you got the red, which was an alternate color, and then the blue, which was the standard color. Saw a lot of these in the store. Don't think I ever saw this red one in the store. I'm not a big fan of the uh, of the art cars in particular, but I do like this one. And I've got some of these trucks already. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to open this Riviera right here and this chrome one. So let's open a couple of these and see what we've got because I'm going to add some of these to my collection. I thought about selling the series individually, but you know, there's so many cars that I'm going to want to keep. I like this pretty blue Camaro. I'm going to want to keep that. Might as well go ahead and open one of these trucks because I haven't opened one of these trucks yet. It looks better out of the package than in. All Hot Wheels look better out of the package than in the package. Gonna have to put this in my collection. The Zaymax series. I love some of the Zaymax. Pretty cool. Oh, look at that. So gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. I just like to be able to touch my Hot Wheels for crying out loud. They're not meant to stay in the package forever. So these are the four that I am saving for my collection. That is really cool. That is cool. Art cars. There it is. The art car series. Let's move on to series number two. Before I get carried away and open and put away all of these cars let me show you what it looks like when you have all of the cars from the series box or the year-end set uh, stacked up on tables here's two four foot tables stacked high some three high and not only that there's the box there's the super treasure hunts all 15 uh let's say what is 15 of those and then uh one two three four more series here and uh, two more series over there and there you are. We've got to go through all of these cars and all the series. Check it out. Baja Blazers, Batman, Dino Riders, Exotics, Pair Motors, Factory, Fresh, Flames, Game Over, Green Speed. Green Speed? Hot Trucks, Moto, Metro, Muscle Mania, Nightburners, Nissan, Race Day, Rescue, Ride-Ons, Roadsters, Speed Graphics, Target Red Edition, and Speed Blur, and Space, and TV. And Super Chromes, X Racers, Volkswagens, and two more over here. It's got to be confusing for you by now. What is this? Rod Squad, Street Beast. That Rod Squad's a big set. Look at that set. That's big. All right, let's get back at it. Series up, Baja Blazers. Let's look. Number one, 87 Dodge D100. Look at that. I think, I think which one of these was actually seen in the store more? I'm not a big fan of this truck but it is a good looking truck and there could be some neat things done to it actually there's one in the target red edition that looks really fantastic so let's put these aside go with number two this is a neat model this is a neat model look at this the jeep wrangler this one in a silver metal flake this one in blue i don't think i saw i think i seen a red one in the store but i didn't see either one of these and these are fantastic these larger hot wheels are really neat. It's got to be popular with the kids, but they've probably never seen all, both of these colors. These colors are extra fine. Extra fine. Number three is a Baja Blazer. Baja Blazers. No, the Sandivore. What am I saying? It's a Sandivore. And I'm not familiar with these two colors or this model in particular, but look at it. Check it out. Green and brown. And it's always fun to get every color of every car that you like. You can't get every car. It's just not possible. But try to get every one of the cars that you really like. really looks neat. Here's number four, Dune Daddy. Dune Daddy in brown and one in white. The white is pretty darn cool. Look at that. That is a neat looking. I like it in the white with the Dune Daddy. It's got that retro thing on there. You could collect this one just fine. Number four. Number five. 
Let's get him in here to the studio. High beam, high beam. Hmm, what's to say about the high beam? I bet it looks kind of cute out of the package. It looks silly in the package, but I bet that looks just fine. Take it out of the package. Now, number six, another way major awesome model, the 15 Land Rover Defender Double Cab. Look at that in gray. If that's not good enough, how about this rusty red-brown satin? Wow, that is cool. With a different wheel. Look at these wheels. They come in with all kinds of crazy wheels now. And here is a Zamac. The Zamac, wow, that one's good looking. This is just a good looking model all around. There's three colors, isn't that fantastic? All right, that was number six. Number seven in the Baja Blazers is the Audi Sport. Audi Sport, oh, I like both of these. I do like both of these, the Audi Quattro Sport. That's a good looking car. I really like that one. Hmm, I don't know if I've started collecting the Audi Quattro Sport yet, have I? Boy, it's almost a shame to take everything out of the package, too, because the packages are so beautiful. All right, I'm going to put those aside there. Number eight on the Baja Blazers is the is the Mountain Mauler. Mountain Mauler. Look at this one's black with a blue base. This one is Zamac, unpainted, with the blue trim and a black base. Kind of neat, really. Zamac. Wow. Wow, we wow, wow. And number nine... I've never seen this color on the Humvee. Look at that. Blue with flames. No, those aren't flames. Those are scallops. I think that's what they call them. Humvee. If you know for sure, put your comment in the section below. Hoverstorm is number 10. Can't really say a lot about that, but it is pretty neat. Hovercraft. Hovercraft. Good colors on that. Just one color in this lot. And that is all for Baja Blazers. All right, next series up is the Batman series. Batman, the first one of five, only five in the Batman series. This one, animated series. And look at this one, a regular treasure hunt. A regular treasure hunt with the treasure hunt logo on top, silver in the back. On the super treasure hunts, that little symbol back there is gold. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool. Batman super, or regular treasure hunt. Number one, number two. I kind of like this one in the blue in particular. That looks really nice. It is the Batman car, the Batmobile. Everything's called a Batmobile, I guess. But the blue is really cool. Got a red window in there. The silver's got a yellow window. Kind of boring on that one. But this one, I think, is pretty darn cool. Number two. All right, number three is the TV series Batmobile. Look at that silver with those fantastic wheels. Going to have to open that one for sure. I think I've already got one of these open. I don't know if I've opened many Batmobiles. I don't like the one with the blue flame so much, but that one is super groovy. That one's going to get ripped. It's going to get ripped. And here we got the Dark Knight Batmobile in white and blue. White and blue. Pretty interesting. Pretty nice. And the Justice League Batmobile, one in gray and one in... Oh, what is that? It's like a purple metal flake. Pretty neat. Have you seen both colors? Number five, special feature. See back. What? Oh, it's got a little turret that turns a turret, I think, the gun top. And that is the five models in the Batman series. The next series is the Dino Riders or the Dino Riders. There's only five in this series of the Dino Riders. Number one is the Tricera truck, Tricera truck. And one of the beauties of getting this big lot of cars, the 450 piece 2019 factory set is that you'll always have something to give to the kids when they come over and you'll get all the best models in multiple colors. So, you know, if you got a couple of boys or a couple of girls and you want them both to have the Tricera truck, well, you'll have a red one and a green one or turquoise. So that's that's pretty darn cool. Got to put those aside for gifting. These Dino Riders are good for gifting. Here's the Fangster. This model has been around for years. And look at that. Still got a metal bottom on the top. Beautiful colors on top of Fangster. Number three is the T-Rex Stober. Rex Troyer. Rex Troyer. T-Rex Troyer. I get it. It's a play on Destroyer. It's Rex Troyer. One silver and one orange. I think those are a little boring, actually. Not as good as this number four, which is the Motosaurus. Look at that Motosaurus. That is cool. Going to put those aside in the Give to Kids when applicable department. And the Stingrod. Stingrod, number one in the Damage Blisters. Quite a few damage packages in this new box. I didn't get that last year. Last year, everything was perfect. This year, I got about half a dozen or a dozen damage packages. This one is the Stingrod. Pretty darn cool. What do you think? Would kids really like this one? 
I think they like the other ones better. We're going to just go ahead and put these away and put them in the dollar department of my collectible stores display. Next series is the Exotics. The Exotics have 10 cars in the series. One first one up, Jaguar XJT20. This is a model that has been around for a long time, the XJ220, but they haven't made too many of them. Nice that they brought it back recently. And look at the how they've done with those wiry wheels. Those are very, very cool. Number one in the series. Here's a two-colored one. We've got the McLaren 72, 720S in the purple and the unpainted Zamag. Look at that. McLaren and Zamag. Well, that's kind of pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I think I like that one in the Zamag. Very cool. I'm going to put that over there. And what's this one? Number three is the Aston Martin Vulcan. Wow. Pretty cool car. I thought that came in multiple colors, but no. But number four does McLaren Santa Sienna. That's a pretty cool model. From the Forza, oh, featured in Forza Horizon 4. My son would know all about that, being a video game fanatic. What about number five? Lamborghini Centenario Rosta. Yeah, that, I'm kind of liking that one. Got some sharp lines on it. Really cool, really cool. Let's put these aside. Go with number six. What? Exotic Twin Mill, eh? Hmm. The Twin Mill Generation E. Very cool. Very cool. Beautiful colors on that. And, of course, the Bugatti Chiron. That is a gorgeous model. Definitely going to collect the Chiron. I like that silver bit around there. That is gorgeous. Extra pretty. And here's the Lamborghini Aventador. Aventador. Interesting, interesting. Seems kind of oddly shaped, but a uh, neat car anyway. What's the next one? Number nine is the Acura NSX. One in blue, one in the Zamac. That's pretty darn cool. Acura NSX in the Zamac. Very cool. And number 10, Aston Martin DB5 in black metal flake with a nice green, bright green stripe. It almost glows in there. It's so pretty. It is a pretty one. So many pretty cars in the exotic series. And look, I don't think there's anything I want to... Oh, wait a minute. Is there anything I want to open in this series? No, not really. I thought about opening this same act one. That is pretty cool. I bet it goes fast, too. But no, nothing in the exotics for me to open right now. Let's move on. All right, next series, the Xperia Motors. Xperia Motors. Now, the cool thing about the Xperia Motors is that they got these really goofy, neat models. And this roller toaster in gold is, I think, one of the coolest cars ever. Plus, I think the toast goes down. I've actually never opened one. Probably should, but uh, I'm going to leave these in there for now. The roller toaster in gold, that is so cool in black. That is way cool. I just love that one. Number two is... This one, the Skull Shaker, the Skull Shaker, and I think this Skull Turns or something like that. Yeah, it goes back and forth. Pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool Motors. And number three, the Bubble Matic. I've never made bubbles with it, but you just pull this piece back right there, and you can dip it in Bubble Magic, and away you go with the Bubble Car. So cool. Now, here is the most frustrating car, and the most makes me angry every time I see one. I got so excited when they created this works with GoPro car and um, turns out that the camera that it's made to go on was discontinued like right at the same time they started making this. But here it is a couple years later. Uh, they're still cranking these things out by the zillions and there's no cameras available. And here's another damage pack number two damage packing a lot no big deal because you can't even give these things away really because there's no camera i've been trying to get one cannot do it here we got Xperia motors number five hot wheeler very cool very cool does his mouth open yeah his mouth opens pretty cool number six Hyper Rocker, Hyper Rocker. look at that green see this one's kind of boring but this one here Actually, it's pretty cool. I love the red wheels, of course, because I'm a red liner. But look at that nice paint job. That one actually looks really cool. This one I thought looked dumb, but I'm liking this one pretty much. Really liking that one. I think I'll set that one aside for my grandson. He'll like that one. Maybe he likes two colors. I don't know. Seven is the Skyboat. What's to say about the Skyboat? It's one of the goofiest Hot Wheels of all times. Does it do something? Oh, yeah. Look at that. The piece on the front goes back to the back. It, Huh. That's weird. Skyboat. I get it. It turns from a boat 
into a helicopter. Aha, get it. You know, I never really looked that close at it, but there it is in two colors, the sky boat. Is it a treasure hunt? No, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? That would be silly. Number eight is the slide kick. Oh, the slide kick. Look at that. Does the seat come out? Yes, it does. It's like a sidekick, but it's a slide kick. And that's one neat thing about being Hot Wheels and making all these cars. You can copyright like every name you can think of. That's pretty cool. Here's the Hollinator. The Hollinator is number nine in the series. One in purple, one in orange. The orange one looks pretty darn cool, doesn't it? I think, aren't, isn't one of these a treasure hunt or something? I know there was several treasure hunts that were real goofy. Could be that one. I'd have to double check. And here is the next one. Head starter. Head starter. Look at that big old motor. It's all metal. Base looks metal too. There's a lot of metal in that one. Pretty heavy actually. Number 10 in Xperia Motors. And is there anything for me to open in this lot? No, there is not. Let's get going with the next one. Factory Fresh. Factory Fresh. 10 cars in this set. Number 1. BMW M2. A 2016 M2. Very nice, very classy. I like that one. That one is very nice. Second one up, the 17 Audi RS6 Avant, the wagon. I think that one comes in red as well, but only blue in this set, in this set right here. Factory Fresh number three, Audi RS5 Coupe. Beautiful, look at that. And look at that with a Zamac. Very nice. That one is nice. That's a nice set. Factory Fresh right there, the Range Rover Velar. In the white. Wow, look at that. You can see through the entire window on that one, too. That's interesting. This one, it looks to be black. No, maybe it's just darker. But this one, you can see through the whole window on top. That is neat Range Rover. I think I'm liking this model. Mm-hmm. The Range Rover Velar. Hmm. Very nice. And number five, 19 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Very cool with the sunroof. And number six, Alpine Auto in the blue, beautiful blue. All right, number seven, Factory Fresh Jaguar XE SV Project 8, blue and orange. Sunburst orange. What is that? That's Pontiac had that color. Sunburst orange, I think it was called. My favorite new car of the year, the Mod Rod. This thing is classy. I love this car. So super cool. My favorite. I don't even know if I've opened a new one of these yet, but there's... Been out with a couple of colors so far. Great car, really great. And the Lamborghini Huracan. Oh, I like that one. I do like the Huracan. That's a nice one. And here's the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in purple. Great, great car. So what were there? Were 10, let's see, two colors on that, two colors on that, two colors on that. Yeah, two colors on that. There were four of the ten had two colors. Pretty cool. I think I'll keep this particular set together because... It is so neat. All right, let's move on. All right, everybody. Next series is the Flames. Flames. Where's number one? There's number one. The Dodge Charger. You know the Dodge Charger? This is a really large and really neat car. I've never collected this one because it's just so long. It doesn't fit in any kind of display case. So it is cool with the big spoiler on the back. They've made a bunch of these. Probably like at least 50 different variations of the Dodge Charger Daytona since they started making it, which was way back when, probably sometime in the 90s. Number one. Number two, the massively cool Mercury Cougar. Look at this black one with the flames on this side. That is killer. And this olive is really, really sweet. Not sure I'd ever keep that one. It's just too goofy for me, but this is definitely going in the collection. I'll set that aside. And the next one up is the Wagon Never been a fan of the wagon. This one's kind of boring, but this one I think is way cool. I could totally see myself driving down the street in this wagon right here with the yellow, bright yellow. That gets you some attention right there. And the Torino Talladega, one of my favorites. I've got all the Torino Talladegas and all the colors. These two are really nice. I really like this red one. The green one's not so bad either. White with green stripes. Number four in the Flame series. What's number five, you say? Number five. Number five never got my attention until I saw these two in the lot in the satin. I just really love the satin. I love the satin colors. So I think I'm going to have to start collecting the El Camino and open those. Number six, of course, is a famous favorite. 
the 57 Chevy. Love the 57 Chevy. These are not going anywhere except on the wall. And the Nova, another favorite. Look at this Nova. They just don't get much better than this when it comes to Hot Wheels. They make the best muscle cars. And they're in the Flame Series. Here is the Mustang Funny Car, which is said to be a really good roller. Good for racing. Here's two colors. The orange, which you probably won't see too often. And the purple, which was hanging on the peg. Here is the number 9 Chevy C10. They haven't done much with that re recently, so only the orange for 2019. And then the big old giant Shelby, red and blue. Look at that. This is a big car. Big and fat and wide. This is a big car. It does look really cool in some, some configurations, some color variations. The Shelby GT500. Put these away, put these away, and put these away. Let's open these. Let's take a look at these beautiful satin colors. Wow. Out of the package, I am really impressed. Look at that black back, satin color. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Wow, it's almost, it almost reminds me a little bit of uh, what a Dub City. Of course, those would be a lot bigger. Here's the El Camino in green. There's the green and the red. Very cool. Look at that. Definitely going into the collection. Might as well open the white one too while we're at it. Breaking up this set of flames. Hot Wheels flames. There they are. Hot Wheels flames. Let's add to that. Uh, where is the cougar? Let's open the cougar. Where'd the cougar go? There it is. I'm just digging these satin colors. I don't know what it is about them, but they just look so nice. I don't think I'd want a real car in a satin color, but in these little models, it just makes them look more realistic than the glossy paint jobs. There she is. So one Cougar and El Caminos, and that's all for the Flame series. Let's move on. All right, let's get started with the next series, Game Over. This is a short five car series. Number one, Hot Wheels Game Over Octane. Octane, look at that, in orange and in the blue metal flake. It's amazing. This one's so boring, and this one's actually pretty cool with the blue metal flake and the white. Everybody has their different ideas about different cars, but some of these, they just look better in some colors than other colors. Here's a good, another good example. The Rip Rod in blue and the Rip Rod in white. I really like this one with the red base. Look at that. And the white top, that's a good looking little hot rod. And here's the blue. Kind of boring, but I like that white. So that's kind of cool. You got to look at all of them. You got to see all the cars. And this one, a treasure hunt. A regular treasure hunt. The Twin Mill. Got the little logo on the top. So cool. Just like the original. And here is the Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker in two colors. I do like Bone Shakers. Haven't seen this color before, so this must be a harder one. There are the two Bone Shakers. Probably have to add those two to the Bone Shaker collection. Got a few of those around. And number five in the Game Over series, 2005 Ford Mustang. 2005 Ford Mustang with a number two on the side. Two colors, black and the red color, 2005 Mustang. And that is all for the Game Over series. Series, the Green Speed. That's a five-car set, the Green Speed. Starting with number one, the Tesla Model 3. Look at that. There's the white one. Here's the red one. Don't think I ever saw this red in the store. That is a much better looking. Actually, they're both really nice. That is the Tesla. Number two, the Porsche Panamera Turbo E-Hybrid Sport Turismo in gray. Flat, not flat, gloss gray enamel. Number three, the... Electro Silhouette. Electro Silhouette. That one, I like this blue. I haven't seen that one before. Or the yellow. I don't think I've ever actually looked at Electro Silhouette before. And here's the Tesla Model S. Model S with a spoiler on the back. That must be the fast one. And here is the Solar Reflex. Number 5 of 5 in the Hot Wheels Green Speed. Look at that. It's got the solar panels on top. Two seats for two people that don't get along. They can sit across from each other. Perfect. Look at that solar reflex. Look at that. Copyright 2007. And now remember, as always, this is a 2019 car, but they always put the date that the year that they designed the car. So they designed this one back in 2007. But this is a 2019 car. Now I get four or five people a day asking me, saying like, hey, I got this 2007 interest. And I'm like, dude, you just picked that up off the peg for crying out loud. 
So that you got to watch out for that when you're collecting the Hot Wheels. Next setup, one of my favorites, hot trucks. Hot trucks are cool. Hot trucks. Here we got the 19 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT in two colors. Look at this one, silver with a black roof, a black hood. And this one in a beautiful dark blue. Wow, look at that thing. That thing is cool. Kids love these gigantic trucks. That's hot, hot, hot. And the neat thing about the 2019 factory set is you get multiple colors of a lot of cars. Look at this. Here's the 67 Jeepster Commando. White or cream and a, I'm not even sure what that color would be called. Gray green, possibly. Look at that sunroof in there. That's really cool. Number two, number three, one of my favorites, the Land Rover Series 3 pickup. Look at that thing. It is gorgeous. And here's the red. I haven't seen that one before. This blue I've seen on the peg. That's a neat piece. Wow. Reminds me of Tamika. Kind of looks like Matchbox now. And here is the number four, Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300. I think one, isn't one of these a treasure hunt or something? Let's take a closer look. I don't see any treasure hunt markings on it, so maybe not. But look at that red. Look at that blue. They're both good looking. I'd like to see this red one with those gold wheels on it, though. Come on, switch them around. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Number five. What? Are we on five? Yes, we are on five. There are three 19 Ford Ranger Raptor. 19 Ford Ranger Raptor. Three of them. Silver, one. Yellow, two. And blue. Neat. So you get the 2019 set. You get to pick from all the colors, all the variations, and go from there. Here's number six. Number six, Hot Trucks Too Tough. Ah, you know, I've never really given this a, that much of a look, but the white, eh, it's nice, but man, that red metal flake, that is a good-looking truck right there. Yeah, it's got some beautiful paint on it. Wow, we that is gorgeous. And this one, the Custom Ford Bronco, number seven. That is good-looking. That black satin, black satin. I hate to break up this set, otherwise I'd open that one. This one's a harder one to get. Look at that treasure hunt. That's what it is. It's a regular treasure hunt. How fantastic is that? And here is the number eight, Ranchero. Ranchero. I always thought this one was a little too narrow. Ranchero narrow to collect. But it looks good from the side right there. And then number nine is the Chevy Love got the Zamag version and the lime green version so that's way cool and i'm loving that new wheel that's a great wheel and number 10 in the hot trucks beautiful dodge little red express and look at this blue one that is gorgeous love that blue one too bad they didn't put chrome pipes on there they could just drop those pipes off all together i'd be happy with that i guess you could cut those off though couldn't you Maybe you can pull them out. No, it's part of the interior. Cut those pipes off and that make a good looking truck. Why do they keep putting those silly pipes on there? Eh, I don't know. All right, that's number 10 and that is all for the hot trucks. Let's move on.